Where does today find us? Does that sound like a narrator? And today he finds us at such and such. What is it? The Pee Wee Herman and you know, all in the way, way back machine. Pee Wee, Pee Wee's Big Adventure. No, uh, I never uh, watched Pee Wee Herman. No, the little talking dog and way back machine. They know. They'll all tell us down below. <coughs> hey everybody, today we're we're over here at Peebles and we're pulling out the broccoli. I'm gonna make some peas. It came from the garden at it, home. Yeah, that's come from the garden, guys. And if you really want to get crazy, what's that look like? A yellow well. It's a yellow well. Why don't we? It got it a little bit too big, but we can cut some of the seeds out and still use it. It'll be good. It'll be fine. If we come across any riders, we'll use we it as a weapon. Of seeds. Anyway, so I cooked some of them puppies up. They're in the microwave. I'll show them to you later. I didn't cook them in the microwave. That's just where they're at. And and we got some. What do we got here? Ah, oh, uh, let's look at it. Yes, that's right. Straight from deep blue ocean or somebody's farm pond. Probably. Hi, Grace. How you doing there? We got some, some, what are they? Jumbo shrimp. Jumbo shrimp. They might have come from the Gulf of Mexico. I don't know. That's what we're cooking up today. Jumbo shrimp and we're going to add broccoli and Alfredo sauce. We're supposed to be loading up for the Pacific Northwest. Bigfoot territory-ish, you know. But I don't know when it's going to happen. When I went in, they said a couple hours. They're hoping it'll be ready. So, so we're know. taking the opportunity to whip up this meal. So in other words, we should watch TV, eat supper, and lay down. Yeah. And go to bed until they come and get us and interrupt us. Well, this is something schedule. that you can easily cook up in your truck. Well, at least if you're Daniel McCarthy, you can. See, she's got on Daniel's shirt again today. It's he keeps it 12 degrees in here, so I have to wear a jacket. That's right. Daniel's keeping so her warm. So I'm stronger by the mile. Yeah, you're something by the mile. Another mile over. Well, actually, if you had a crock pot, you could. You could cook you this could in a truck, that. in any truck. You've got okay. your 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 instant pot or your knockoff aroma pot cooker or any of those things. So you use a pressure cooker or you could use a slow cooker or anything. Yeah, you could just burner throw these all in together and make a casserole out of them. Throw some cheese in there or something if you want it. I don't see why not. What are we going to throw in there? Oh. I got told We're going to throw the rag goo up in there. That's the rag goo right there. So, uh, how many carbs have we got? Too many, but we don't care. Are we going to use the whole thing? Two grams of carbs. Per serving or the whole thing? Per serving and zero fiber So that, and seven servings. So oh 14 God. carbs for the whole thing. So we might end up with seven carbs. So seven and Actually, for, for a daily limit, that's half of your daily limit because usually for a meal, so that's for a meal. Bad. and and we haven't had any other carbs i mean that, that's max carbs well car, car, our broccoli might have a little bit or something you don't we don't count cruciferous vegetable carbs even if they have them that's broccoli right. cauliflower brussels sprouts cabbage uh, and you take the fiber off so it may be a little bit off but we don't count the cruciferous vegetables but, but we're still fat that's because I got sick and I started eating popsicles because I wanted ice cold popsicles. That's the COVID-20. COVID-20. Right. They call it the COVID-19. It's COVID-20. Kind of like the freshman 40. That's When I was a young man, freshman got 20. Now, now they, they get, 40. get 40. Damn, there's some fat asses. Yeah, it's getting worse. Getting worse. Hey guys, I don't seem very energetic, do I? I'm tired today. The girl said that I must put the broccoli in now. Y'all know she, she kind of rules the roost. Oh my god. At least she tries to, right? Y'all know that I'm like, alright, I'll just cut it open, dump it out. She said I had to drain the shrimp too. Then she said, well, you don't have to drain it as I'm draining the shrimp. She said, you gotta drain you it. You asked. You gotta drain it again anyway. I did not. Oh, she said, do I, need, am I, do I need to drain this off there? And I said, yes. And I said, oh, but you can wait until the broccoli's in there because you'll have to drain some of that off. See, she's bossy. What can no, I you asked me. Oh. You asked it, what to do. It. You but anyway, to ask what anyway, to do anyway, you see, I got it in the pan now. You see, who's doing the cooking once again, don't you? So I got it up in the pan and y'all can, can handle it from here. This ain't brain surgery, right? We're going to let it all melt down. You got a time limit for it? 
until it melts, right? Then we'll mix it up. I ain't telling you nothing. You're gonna say I'm bossy, so don't ask me no more questions. Hey, I like bossy girls. I do. I don't know why. Something's probably wrong with me. That's what it is. You got a bossy girl there looking at you from her bed. She's a bossy Boston girl. See it? Oh, them are the worst kind. God. And voila, then you have the end product. It, it smells good, it tastes good, it's easy to prepare. Something like mom would make maybe, I don't know. Let's try it. Actually, we only ended up plating up half of it, so we're gonna get half the carbs. If you look at it that way, right? And it looks good. See my squash? You know who grew that squash.